guys welcome back to my channel and once again thank you so much for stopping by so as you guys can see by the title we are trying new products i recently did go to ulta and sephora and i purchased a little bit of products so i want to try them out and see if i like them or don't so i do have them all laid out on my table so let's get started so the first thing that i did pick up from sephora was a primer and i really wanted to try this one because i've heard such great reviews but this is the one size secure the blur makeup magnetic primer which looks like this and now this one is going to be an ultra blurring pore refining primer that has also niacinamide built into the primer which is going to give you a very flawless application so i'm very excited to try this let's take some i am gonna put like a dime size and apply it mm. this kind of reminds me a little bit of the urban decay all-nighter primer this one also has a gripping effect but it is not um very strong in my opinion it's more like a very smooth pore filling primer so it feels really good on the skin it's also very lightweight which is nice I'm gonna start with my face first, which is usually not the case. I always do my eyeshadow and then my complexion last, but I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. So for foundation, I did purchase a new one, which is the Airbrush Flawless Foundation Stay All Day and Night, which is this one here. And I did pick it up in the shade 8 Warm Shot. Shot. So this is how the packaging looks. Very cute, slick. I love the top definitely looks very luxury so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this with a brush and then I'm gonna kind of blend it with a sponge I do have my all-time favorite foundation brush which is the morphe e63 if you guys have not tried this brush definitely do so they give you the streakiness nothing like that it really packs your foundation on hopefully this is a good shade if not we're just gonna have to definitely make it work i'm gonna grab my plate i did do one pump and i always do this it doesn't matter what foundation i'm doing i always spray my foundation brush with the nyx bear with me prime set and refresh spray and kind of let it sit for a while so i do have my foundation there and i'm just gonna go ahead and start warming it up because if not, we are going to be in trouble. So, so, so far, so good. It definitely has a very full coverage. I gotta go and do my half my face with this one. Put a little bit there. It is a little bit more in... Oh, no, I think it looks good. I was going to say it looks a little bit more yellowy, but... I'm just going to blend it all. I usually feel like my forehead is a little bit darker than the rest of my face. I feel like that's because this hits the sun first. But this is how it looks so far. And now this one, it is going to be more of a mattifying foundation. So it's going to be more matte than my normal foundation preference. Usually I like them to be more radiant um more dewy this one is definitely more matte so i can see a little bit of more texture but that primer really helps because it doesn't look extreme if that makes any sense i'm gonna go ahead and blend this down it does have a smell of like i don't know it, it smells like hairspray to be honest i know it's not my brush or my nyx spray because i use that every single day and it doesn't smell like that. I did purchase the Real Technique Sponge Miracle Airbrush Air Blend Sponge, which looks just like this. Now, this one I've heard also great things, so I definitely want to give it a shot. Oh, and it's also very soft. Like, oh, very, very soft. So I'm gonna go ahead and damp my sponge and I'll be right back. You can definitely use this sponge damp or dry. Um, to apply a foundation wet first before use or apply it dry so it's, this is gonna evenly blend full natural coverage without extra shine so let's see so this is usually what i do i apply my foundation with a brush and then i go in with a sponge to really give me that natural finish um versus just my brush 
this one feels a little bit more spongy i don't know it's like that micro i don't know what kind of because this is my other real technique and this one definitely feels different than this one this one feels a little bit more airy than this one so i'm also going to be using this for my concealer so i'm going to place that down for my concealer i am going to be using the elf hydrated camo concealer in medium warm i did not purchase a concealer so i'm just going to use the one that i already have here i'm going to go ahead and also do the same thing grab my e8 morphe brush spray it with my nyx bear with me and i just kind of damn i mean damn i just kind of press it into my skin and then i will use the sponge once again be using the pointy side dabbing this onto my skin this sponge definitely feels so weird i don't know if i like it so far i think i like the other one better so before i set my under eye i'm gonna go ahead and sculpt my face sculpt sculpt my face i am gonna be using the makeup by mario soft sculpt shaping stick in the shade dark so let's go ahead and take this out the packaging. Oh, and it has a brush on the other side. I totally forgot about this. It has a brush, so we're gonna be using that instead. Then my brush, this is how it looks. So let's, ooh, it's really dark. Apply some. I'm gonna excited about this. Does it go out? No, okay. So let's see. So. I probably could have done medium dark, but they were sold out, so got this one. But it's not bad, but it's a little bit more in the reddish side. It has definitely a lot of red undertone to it. Yeah, I feel like I should have done medium dark. So this is how it looks, and this is without um, any contour at all. And it does have like five little dots. I really don't know what that is for. I am not left-handed, so this is so hard for me. I mean, it's really nice. It definitely blends really, really nicely. I'm not gonna lie. I like it a lot, but I wish I would have got medium dark because I feel like this one is a little bit too dark. But let me know in the comments. What do you guys think? Too dark? Should I keep it? Should I buy the other one? And I am gonna get a brush and apply some on my nose. I'm just gonna apply some on my nails and I'm gonna put it also on my crease here this product is really blendable oh my god it looks so crazy like I'm not having no problem blending this thing out I'm gonna go ahead and use my sponge all right so I'm gonna get the brush again and which one is it this one here to my eyelid and so, ooh, multi-purpose sculpt. Oh, uh, it's definitely so creamy and easy to blend. This is like a dream here. I am liking this thick a lot. It's like the more that I blend it, the better it performs. I know I'm like all over the place, <laughs> but that's how makeup is. Like you start here and then you end up over here and then you come back and then it's like, wow, the whole finished look is complete. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face and once again I'm gonna go ahead and use my sponge and it does take some of my shine away I'm not looking as shiny as I would typically I did purchase this essence brighten up banana powder so I'm gonna go ahead and use that right here and apply it It definitely brightened it up a little bit. I met it. So this is how it looks so far. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes. I'm not doing nothing crazy. I'm just gonna apply some highlighter on my lid. And I'm just gonna put this brush here. I'm gonna go ahead and use this Fenty bronzer. I've been using this much every single day so i'm just gonna apply this on my crease 
it's kind of became, became like a little tutorial oh. so from ulta i also did pick up the essence super precise eyeliner so this is supposed to be a very similar dupe to the nyc eyeliner back in the day i don't know if you guys remember that eyeliner but it was an awesome eyeliner like definitely hands down the best liner but then they discontinued it and they never brought it back so i'm gonna go ahead and do a wing liner pray for me because it's been a while since i've done a wing liner get this going it definitely has a felt tip just like the nyc it honestly it looks just like the nyc liner it's definitely very black and I haven't even applied any more from the tube. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. I feel like I couldn't breathe for a second. Okay, this is the best it gets because I'm not about to put more because then it's gonna end up like a whole Amy Whitehouse eyeliner. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some bronzer. You guys know the drill here. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this part. So for blush, I did purchase a two Essence, the blush, blush, <laughs> um, which are these here. One is going to be Befitting, which is 10 and 20 Be Spoken. Um, I kind of want to try the Befitting one, which is, they kind of remind me of the Buxom blushes. Ooh, it's, I like it. Oh, yeah. This blush is nice bright but oh, that is a very pretty color i'm also going to swatch the other one which is a bespoken and this one is more of a brown type of blush so this one here and i'm gonna go ahead and swatch it on my hand so that one is how the other one looks they do have a little bit of like the highlight effect and i am using once again the Dose of Color I Love Sarai collab. This is like an amazing highlighter. I can't get over it. So for lips, I did purchase Essence Stay 8 Hour Matte in the shade Duck Face, which is this one. And I also did purchase Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lolita 2. So I... I kind of want to try this one using the NYX Matte Lip Liner in Cold Brew. And for my lipstick, I'm going to be using Lolita 2. So let's see if this two shades kind of match well. It's a little bit more terracotta color. It's okay. Like. this is definitely not a very nude lipstick and i was going for more for a nude type of look this is more of a pinky terracotta color so yeah so i did put a little bit of the buxom taupe it off all right guys and that is it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like this video if you guys have enjoyed it subscribe if you guys haven't and i'll definitely have all the products listed down below in the description box so if you guys want to take a look definitely do so and i try to use the most products that i do have that i have purchased i did grab some that were my favorite that i couldn't resist that i just had to put in this video once again but that is it so i'll definitely see you guys in my next video bye guys oh my god